and I think conceptual artists, that's, that's what mm -hmm. you do. Um, mm -hmm. What are some of the ideas that are really important to you that you would like to convey to viewers? Well, in this latest work, um, my interest in the body has to do with technology and, and communication, I guess, more specifically. Um, the way that we sort of hide behind some of our technological devices mm. and um, the the impact that they're having on the way that we relate to each other um, emotionally, psychologically, physically, um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm the the latest work uh, really focuses on um, cell phones very specifically mm. and. Um, no, it's uh, I am. What is she is writing? I think she's writing I am everywhere. Um, so I was really interested in in this piece in um, exploring the idea that through technology you can sort of you be are everywhere, everywhere yeah. at once. Um, and yet she's writing on the verge of the ocean, so we know that the the waves are going to come and wash that statement away. Right. That that piece very much had a um, an underlying theme of absence or disappearance, mm -hmm. um, erasure. Um, Got this with the snow angel here. Right. Yeah. Now, as, as an artist, uh, as you go through uh, the process of putting these pieces together, um, are you someone who's working primarily by intuition, or do you um, have a schema that you're working from? What, what's your, your process? Uh, well, with that piece, um, it, it, it's actually a lot of um, thinking and writing mm -hmm. um, and maybe some sketching, but it, it stays very much... Um, you know, sort of in my head for a long mm -hmm. time. I knew I wanted to do something that had to do with the body and, and um, the weight of the body, the physicality of the body. And so for that piece, um, one of my bits of research involved uh, taking a trapeze lessons mm. to try to understand <laughs> uh, the weight of the gravity and, and the body. And uh, that ultimately didn't become part of that project, but uh, it was a really fun Mm -hmm. way to start <laughs> to, to spend think about time, yeah. the, the project, yeah. Well, it's interesting that you are such a, a heady artist and, um, you know, the, the mind is, is clearly at, the, at the, the focus of what a lot of what you do and you also the body is, you keep returning to this. Mm -hmm. um, do you, what's the mind-body connection for you? Uh, I think they're completely, um, you know, they're, they're connected uh, very deeply and um, I think in our, in our culture uh, we're, as a, as a culture, we're very disconnected from our bodies. Mm. Um, so I think the body has an intelligence that uh, we're not completely tapped into. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess that's my interest in, in technology. It, that, see, that, that disconnect just seems like it's going to continue to grow. Um, so uh, that's, that's sort of at the, mm -hmm. at the core of a lot of that work. Well, we have, um, uh, we've got about six minutes left and we have a, a four minute video. I want to shift gears a little bit before we come back and look at more of the body and technology and talk to you about your life as a working artist. I mean, it's, it can be difficult for mm -hmm. uh, someone to make a living um, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and be an artist. What, what are some of the, the conflicts that you come across yourself? Mm, time. Time. Time and um, finding a way to keep a thread going. Mm. Um, Sometimes I find myself with a chunk of time, but I'm, I, I've lost the mm -hmm. connection to mm -hmm. what I was doing uh, two weeks prior when mm -hmm. I had a chunk of time. Right. Um, so that's, that's really difficult. I've um, been teaching for about eight or nine years now, um, and generally I have the summers off to, to work, really yeah. engage in my practice yeah. and, and get that thread mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, going. But it's, it's I think, pretty much the same as any artist. It's just the, the, the concentrated time uh, to sure. really uh, get your thoughts together. Do, do you find that working with students it invigorates you, or does it divert you, or does it inspire you in your own work? Um, different people have different responses, I know, as teachers. Yeah, no, I, I find that that's a positive, um, being around students and um, being able to talk about ideas with them. Mm -hmm. It kind of keeps, um, uh, you know, keeps my own 
ideas percolating, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's summer right now as we're doing this interview in July of, of 2008. Um, so you have a big block of time. Um, what are you What are you working on right now? What are you thinking about doing for the future? I am. I'm. I've sort of been staying away from the computer and uh, working on some drawings and collages. It's always a, you know, my, my background in fine arts uh, still sort of tugs at me. Mm -hmm. And I, um, uh, every once in a while, I need to do something that's more hands-on, more immediate. Mm -hmm. And I'm in one of those modes right now. Um, I've been working collaboratively with a choreographer mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, and uh, I have a proposal that I'm trying to find funding for mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see well are you do you tend to be a collaborative artist because most of that work looks like it's it's you um. right no the, the collaboration is a new thing oh, okay. I've uh, uh, we've worked on two projects together over the last year and that's a, uh, another very challenging and, mm -hmm. and different way of working mm -hmm. but um, it made sense for me to work with the choreographer who could um, give me information about uh, the body in a way that I didn't completely, you know, ha haven't been able to work. Mm -hmm. um, and of course refers back to my interest in, in dance. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's a perfect connection for mm -hmm. you. Well, tell us um, as we go out on this final video what it is that we're going to be looking at. Um, I think this final piece is called Signal and uh, sort of a, an experimental piece that I did. Um, it ties into this uh, performance proposal that I that I just mentioned. I've been really interested in the uh, different gestures, poses, movements of the body as we're all talking on cell phones, texting. Um, you know, the, the the parts of our bodies that we use are very specific, mm -hmm. but also this. Um, idea that our focus is so internalized and we I'm always fascinated when I see people walking down the street it's an obvious couple together and they're both <laughs> they're on both. their cell phones <laughs> um, so we're, we're in close physical proximity to each other but uh, completely disconnected um, and it's it's fascinating to me visually and uh, conceptually okay. well we're gonna go out on this so I'm gonna thank you Elizabeth Leister for being on the program thank you and so let's much. take a look at signal great thank you